Hello, and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. In this episode, we will continue to explore the gameplay of Democracy 4. Democracy 4 is a political sim that lets you choose the role of a world leader and govern a country. If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. In this series, we are focused on being the Prime Minister of Japan. The Prime Minister of Japan serves a five-year term. We are currently in our third year of our first term as Prime Minister of Japan. Let's get into the gameplay. The GDP is up. Crime is down. We have increased school inspections. There is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. There are concerns that school standards are slipping and that the current regime for examining teaching methods and schools is not sufficient. Campaigners suggest toughening up on the system with much more frequent inspections. Increased inspections. Education is a service like any other and it is essential that parents know what they are getting for their money or taxes. Decent teachers should have nothing to fear from extra scrutiny. What parent would oppose greater checks on the way in which their children are being educated? Keep the current system. Teaching children is difficult enough as it is, as well as being poorly paid and undertaken by dedicated professionals. This proposal would simply heap extra bureaucracy and take more time away from actual teaching. It's insulting to suggest that dedicated public service workers like teachers need further scrutiny. I am going to increase inspections. The parents are happy by plus 6%. The state workers are unhappy by negative 11. Polls report your government is not popular amongst its citizens. Only 0% of them intend to vote for you in the next election. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be fair. Economic forecast. Good news. The global economy is doing well and it's having a positive effect on our GDP. Security briefing. The Environmental Alliance have warned warned that it is the duty of its members to fight against the government policy at all levels. We are still in a state of crisis. Our debt is really high. Our credit rating is really bad. I think. Let's take a look at our ministers. Yeah, they're all pretty effective except for this, this economy minister. Yeah, motorists and parents. Uh, let's fire her. We are the family values. So where's the one with the parents? We have the capitalists and parents over here. Parents and conservatives. Junichiro Yamamoto. She is skilled for the economy. Let's hire her. We have 25 political capital remaining. This would generate money. We need money in our country. Toll roads. Toll roads charge motorists to use specific roads, normally major highways. This is a great example of directly applying market forces. By only charging those who use a particular route, construction and maintenance of that route. Motorists tend to see this as just another form of taxation, whereas commuters appreciate not being charged for roads they seldom use. This is 93% popular with the voters. It would generate income. Let's put six political capital in this. It will generate a lot of billions of yen. We have 19 political capital remaining. Speed cameras. It would cost money, but it would generate money. Speed cameras. Speed cameras are an automated way to enforce speed restriction on our roads without having to invest a fortune in extra traffic police. Supporters claim they reduce road deaths and free up police to deal with more serious crime. Opponents claim they are a cynical way of taxing motorists and have nothing to do with safety. This is 49% popular with the voters. We are concerned about power and health. We're looking for income. Right now we have speed cameras in residential areas. We should do widespread speed cameras at six political capital. Plastic bag tax. Plastic bags, unlike paper ones, are not biodegradable, so can last more or less forever, eventually ending up in a huge, unsightly landfill sites. We are an island. We don't have a lot of land. Tax on bags discourages their use and encourages people to reuse stronger, more environmentally friendly alternatives. Capitalists just see this as a state meddling but we are going to do this to generate money for our country we only have one political capital we can go all the way to the end we have zero political capital remaining let's hit that button and go into our second term of our third year in our first term as prime minister of japan hit this button we will be entering our second term of our third year as prime minister of japan let's see how we did the GDP is up. Disputed territory repatriated. After an international court ruling, a significant territory that we have historically claimed sovereignty over has been repatriated. Its current occupiers have always disputed our claim, but have no choice but to vacate and transfer ownership of the area. Patriots are happy at plus 20%. Egalitarian society. The dawn of a new era is upon us. Our society has become more equal and accepting than ever before. This makes many people happy. Situation eminent. 
Our data is showing that we have a potentially bad situation, teacher shortage on our hand. If we do not act soon, we became harsher on schools and how they are being taught that a lot of teachers probably left. Most of the loss was in state schools. Polls report your government is not popular amongst its citizens. Only 3% of them intend to vote for you in the next election. Budget report our credit rating is worryingly just a C. We need to fix this either through growing our GDP, cutting expenditure, or increasing taxation. We still have emergency powers. We have a teacher shortage going on. We have a debt crisis, which is lowering our foreign relations. Let's take a look at our policies. This would take a lot of political capital. Punitive wealth tax. There's nothing wrong with wealth as such, but inequality in our society is bad enough that we must seem to do something to ensure those at the highest levels of income bear their share of the costs of maintaining a healthy society. It is entirely reasonable to set a tax rate that takes away the majority of income of the extremely high levels, as this money is so much more appreciated by those of lower incomes. This is only 1% population with voters. This is using a lot of political capital. This will create a corporate exodus. So let's not do this. Let's revert the changes. I didn't revert the changes. I said revert the changes. It looks like we did a punitive wealth tax, whether I wanted to or not. Empty house tax, a tax levied on homes that are mostly left empty, generally second homes owned by the wealthy or used for a month or two each year. Popular in rural communities where the wealthy buyers from other regions push up the property prices, meaning that many young people and less well-off cannot afford to buy at all. Let's just do this all the way to three. We'll apply the changes. We have one political capital remaining. Recycling. Supporters of recycling argue that dumping waste in landfills just isn't a long-term solution, and the government needs to show the way by providing facilities to recycle as many waste materials as possible. This might include recycling newspapers, cardboard, bottles, and even some plastics. Let's use our last political capital in this because this is 100% popular with the voters. Let's apply the changes. We are at the end of our second term as Prime Minister of Japan. Let's hit that button and go into our third term. We are now entering the third term of our third year as Prime Minister of Japan. Let's see how we did. Crime is up. We got tax evasion on our hands. Tax inspectors report surge in tax evasion with large sums of money going unpaid. That's probably bumping up our crime. Fishing quotas. There's an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. Marine conservation groups are pushing for us to sign international laws restricting the quantity of certain fish that can be caught by our fishermen in a calendar year. This is an attempt to preserve the viability of fish stocks for future generations. Agree to quotas. This is just common sense. Modern technology meant that it has become far too cheap and easy to catch a huge number of fish, reducing prices and causing dangerous depletion in the supply. It might be unpopular with the fishermen in the short term, but in the long run, we have to think of marine environment. Environmental groups recommend signing this law. Reject quotas. In theory, it all sounds very sensible, but in practice, do we want to sign away control of our fishing economy to some international body? Although we can be sure our fishermen will abide by the deal, how can we be sure foreign fishermen won't, will do the same? Signing this law is just going to be another nail in the coffin of the fishing trade, and it's going to cost jobs. Reject the law. I'm going to reject quotas because we are family values party, and and many of our traditional families were fishermen, so I'm selecting reject quotas. The environmentalists are unhappy at negative three. The farmers are happy at 12. Major party donor, your fundraising efforts have managed to attract a new wealthy individual to donate to your future campaign fund. Make sure you keep this donor happy and pay attention to the groups they sympathize with. If donors become unhappy, there is a chance you will lose their vital financial support. Our new donor is with the state employees and the environmentalists. Four voter perception. There is a problem by the way voters perceive you as a leader that needs to be addressed before the next election. Our four major donors abandoned us. We banned the controversial march. Budget report. Our credit rating is worryingly just AC. We need to fix this either through growing our GDP, cutting expenditure, or increasing taxation. Economic forecast. Good news. The global economy is doing well, and this is having a positive effect on our GDP. Polls report. The government is not popular amongst its citizens. Only 7% of them intend to vote for you in the next election. Let's go and tackle some crime. Community policing. Working with the community rather than attempting to control it. Community policing encourages the police to better understand the needs of the local community, especially in areas with ethnic minorities. Critics see this as an expensive waste of money which could be spent on more direct methods to cut crime. Put this to high. 
I'll apply the changes. Tax evasion. There is always a small section of society determined to avoid paying their fair of taxes, but tax evasion has turned into an epidemic with inspectors unable to cope with the number of scams and evaders. Intelligence service. Security services are essential tool in the fight against organized crime and terrorism. Good, reliable intelligence can be difficult and expensive to obtain, and in many cases, the methods employed can be unpopular with liberals and human rights advocates. I'm going to do some high-tech spy service. We're going to use four of our political capital for this. Slice some changes. We have 22 political capital. Anti-corruption agency establishes an anti-corruption enforcement agency. Eliminating corruption may be mandated, but detecting perpetrators and persecuting is the only way to stamp out the abuse of power for personal gain. The more resources an anti-corruption agency has, the more powerful the offenders they can bring to justice. Let's uh, put three political capital into that. Apply the changes. Proportionate fines. A fine is no deterrent to an antisocial behavior if all it does is not scale with income. What may be colossal and finance wrecking penalty for some is a mere inconvenience for the ultra wealthy. By making all fines scale with income, the law can finally be applied equally to all. Is that fair? You do high. We'll apply this. We got three political capital remaining. We could do a witness protection program. Witness protection program. What good is catching a criminal if the witnesses of the crime disappears forever? Protecting these witnesses is of utmost importance for a working justice system, and the better it is, the more criminals get convicted and the more witnesses come forward if they see a crime. Too high. Apply that change. We have one political capital remaining. We'll do a tourism ad campaign. Tourism is not only a source of income for many people and businesses, it also strengthens foreign relations, which we need to do to increase our credit rating. This campaign will run in foreign countries, showing our most beautiful places, important sites to see, wonderful people to meet, tasty bears to drink, and maybe even throw in a few free tickets to museums and shows, all in the hopes of attracting more people to visit us. This is popular with voters, about 50%. We can use our last political capital. All the way to the end. We have zero political capital. Let's go into our fourth term of our third year as Prime Minister of Japan. Here we are in the fourth term of our third year as Prime Minister of Japan. Let's see how we did. Crime is down. Factory farming law. There is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. A campaign for tightening animal welfare standards on farms is gaining momentum. A law has been proposed that would set higher minimum standards for space, food, access to outdoors that is available to animals in intensive farming establishments. Set tougher standards. It's about times we did something to ensure animals are not suffering in intensive farming. Most people would be horrified if they saw the conditions some of these animals are kept in. These standards would lead to more expensive of food, but people would be happy to pay more if they knew the conditions in which their animals are currently kept. Leave unchanged. Nobody forces people to buy processed meat from the cheapest sources. There are organic and free-range foods, but the free market shows clearly that the people aren't prepared to pay for more for a change in animal welfare. This is the government interfering in the market to appease a few campaigners. I'm going to leave it unchanged. Farmers are happy at plus 8%. The capitalists are happy at plus 1%. The environmentalists are unhappy at negative 4 And the liberals are unhappy at negative 2 Cabinet loyalty. The loyalty of your ministers can be best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be good. Budget report. The International Credit Rating Agency rate our government as a C. This is a bad sign and is pushing up the rate of interest we pay on our debt. We must address this. Polls report. Polls do not look good. Our last poll put us at 11% of the vote in the election. Economic forecast. Good news. The global economy is doing well and is having a positive effect on our GDP. Security briefing. Our security experts are concerned about a potential security threat from an extremely well-funded shadow organization comprised of various wealthy industrialists called the Invisible Hand. We've been ticking off the wealthy. So let's find the Invisible Hand. Uh, two. They have 65 members. We'll do some more intelligence services. Intelligence service. Security services are essential tool to fight against organized crime and terrorists. Good, reliable intelligence can be difficult and expensive to obtain, and in many cases, the methods employed can be unpopular with liberals and human rights advocates. We have the Invisible Hand, so we have to deal with them. We'll put two points in this. We'll apply the changes. We have 24 political capital remaining. Anti-corruption agency. We'll do more in this. Establishes an anti-corruption enforcement agency. Eliminating corruption may be mandated, but detecting perpetrators and persecuting them is the only way to stamp out the abuse of power for personal gain. The more resources an anti-corruption agency has, the more powerful the offenders that they can bring to justice. We'll do it all the way up to six. We have 18 political capital remaining. Punitive wealth tax. There's nothing wrong with wealth as such, but inequality in our society is bad enough that we must be seen to do something to ensure those with the highest levels of income can bear their share of costs, maintaining a healthy society.
society. It is entirely reasonable to set a tax rate that takes away the majority of income from extremely high levels as this money is so much more appreciated by those on lower income. This is 15% popular with the voters. We will do it to 7 and we will apply the changes. We have 11 political capital remaining. Carbon tax. I've never seen this before. A carbon tax is a tax levied on all emissions of carbon dioxide thought to be the main cause of climate change. The tax is effectively a pollution tax and a way to make those individuals and industries who contribute to climate change pay for the damage they cause or reduce emissions. Obviously, the tax is popular with environmentalists and can also lead to more energy efficient economy. This is very popular with the voters. We can't do that much. We can use seven political capital. Uh, it will generate at least 300 plus billion yen to apply the changes. We have four political capital to spend. Can possibly work for the unemployed. Everyone receiving unemployment benefits now has to do some work every week or risk payment cut in their benefits. This includes public beautification, collecting litter, and other tasks that do not risk any jobs. The goal is to make use of the major workforce and get the people back to work routine, hopefully resulting in them getting jobs soon. Nobody should expect to live off of the state without working. Let's put our last four political capital in this and apply the changes. We have zero political capital remaining, so we are at the end of our third year of our first term as Prime Minister of Japan. So I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our crooked house. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow our future episodes. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Any input of yours really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.